speaking about self-leadership from an IFS perspective, there are eight C's of being in self-leadership, i.e. we're not in a part or blended with a part, we are with our true self or our essence perhaps. And the eight C's of self-leadership in IFS are to be calm, to be compassionate, to have courage, support our parts to find courage as well to feel connected and to be able to connect to our parts from that self energy um, to be creative so but to provide creative solutions that help our parts to relax to unburden to heal to become more whole and connected with with our self energy with our self leadership self um, also to feel confident um, confidence is another quality of self and what other ones have I forgotten there clarity um, to support us in having clarity as, as as to what's going on with our parts and what's needed to help them heal uh, so that is the eight C's and then there's also five P's of self-leadership and that is presence and persistence and that can also show up as persistence to to work with our parts until they can really relax and heal become unburdened and connect that self more energy more uh, when we're in that sense of perspective we have a bigger perspective on everything playfulness as well and patience so they're the eight c's and the five p's of being in self-leadership from an ifs perspective um, of course, there's other ways of looking at what being in self-leadership is, but I feel like that provides a nice model um, to explore and to connect to. And it also gives a lot of hope, actually, that the core and the essence of who we are is these qualities. And when we're not presenting these qualities ourselves or seeing others, it's a part that's taken over. Um, so, yeah, I feel like there's so much work we can do on an individual level to support ourselves in being in self-leadership and modeling that to others and um, can be so helpful for all areas of life for managing uh, our day-to-day -day lives and our work and our relationships um, so and how incredible life can be I feel like the more and more work I've done on myself the more and more I can be in self-leadership and also recognize that I'm not. And then, you know, bring that self-energy to that part that's come up and blend from that part and give that part what it needs. Take it to therapy if I need to and uh, do the work. So yeah, I hope you found this little video helpful today and wishing you well on your journey to self.